Hey everyone, um, I have to be really quick because my battery is about to die. I hope you love this look. Um, I'm doing this for my friend Lauren. She asked for a color that would go good with a smoky eye that would go good with somebody who has blue eyes and she has like a real light brown blondish hair. And I thought that this would be a really good look um, for her. It's going to be a longer video, so I'm very sorry if it's too long for you. You can just kind of skip through it and just see what colors I use. Um, I did something new, if you can see. I did a little white underneath my black liner there. And then um, for my lips, I did two Wet n Wild colors. I did cashmere and like black velvet or something like that. I can't remember the name. Uh, black orchid. Um, I just thought it would look really nice with the smoky kind of blue color. It's supposed to be teal, but it came out really blue. Of course, I put a little bit of gold in there because, you know, I'm on this gold kick right now. Um, so I hope you guys love it. Um, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to do that. Um, follow me on Instagram because I got a really, really, really good, um, page to put me on their page. They have 58,000 followers. I'm super excited about that. Okay, so as I was saying, um, yeah, this lipstick was awesome. This whole look was awesome. I really love it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see a lot of looks that um, I've been doing lately. I haven't been doing as many videos. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. So I'll probably be doing a talking video pretty soon. Um, my Instagram is at makeup by talk with K-A-Y. And my Twitter is makeup by K-A-Y-B. And snapchat me because we're going to do a snapchat q a tomorrow um my snapchat is uh talk with kb so snapchat me i want to see your guys looks i want to see what questions you have i want to see what products you guys are using um how you guys get ready every day i would love to see that stuff um i would love to see your little ones if you have kids um you know give me some tips i would love that um so you know it's not just about me making videos, but I would love to see some videos from you guys and maybe I can even, you know, um, add some of that to my video if you guys don't mind. Um, so maybe we'll do like a little trial run in the morning if you guys want to send me some questions I'll, and then we can redo the same, you know, I'll just replay it. And if you don't want to be on camera, just make sure you write a little note, I don't want to be on camera. But I would hope that you guys would want to be on camera because that would be a lot of fun. And I know that a lot of people do these Snapchat Q&As. And I really want to do one. So add me on Snapchat. Talk with KB. Um, so yeah, that would be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. And Lauren, I hope you love this look. I hope that it you know, really showed you a color that would look great. And I think it would really look great on you especially um i know that you don't know her but it would look really good on her um with dark lips and with her hair and just her her skin tone and everything would look really good on her um so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the thumbs up button don't forget to follow me on all of my channels and my facebook i have a facebook now um just search for my name makeup by kayla batista um, I've actually gotten a lot of followers on there, so I'm pretty surprised about that, um, because I didn't think I would. Um, so yeah, check that out too, because I've, I've been putting, bleh, I've been putting pictures on there as well. Um, I have some photo shoots that I have to do this weekend, so I may be pretty busy, um, so I don't know when I'm going to get the next video up, but I'm going to try to do the Snapchat Q&A tomorrow. And other than that, I don't know when the next one will be, but give me some suggestions. Um, I'm going to try once a week to do a request. So if you guys can request a look that you like or want or request something that you want to talk about, it doesn't even have to be a makeup tutorial. It could be talking about something. Um, that would be great. 
one topic that I do have written down that I want to talk about is um, moms bullying each other over formula and breastfeeding and I think that's a very good topic and then also vaccines um, so I'll probably do that into one video um, so you know like today I, I did one of my hashtags as um, woman crushed Wednesday request night so um, let's do that let's try to do some request night request nights uh, where you guys just request a look that you want to see I would love that um, I need a little bit more of that because I feel like I'm always choosing everything I have you know I do get some requests but um, a lot of times I'm choosing things or she, like you know I did the Valentine's Day stuff and all of that so thank you guys very much for watching you know I love you all um, try to get your friends to subscribe because I'm a little low on subscribers <laughs> so I feel a little lame but all that matters is I'm having fun and it keeps me occupied in this tough time in my life right now. Uh, I won't get into detail with that, but I am going through a very hard time right now. So if all of you could keep me in your prayers, I would, pre I would really appreciate that. So thank you all so much. Have a good night. I love you guys. Don't forget to follow me. Bye. Hey everyone. Um, so today I am doing a request from my friend Lauren. She wanted to know if I could do a video on a smoky eye for somebody who has her hair color, um, eye color, this and that. Now, I don't have blue eyes, but I'm still going to do a nice smoky eye that I think will look good for her. Um, please excuse my voice. I've been feeling a little sick lately, but uh, I got a little... You know, I was editing photos and I needed a little break, so I figured I would make a quick little video. Um, so Lauren, this one's for you. Um, I'm going to show you from start to finish exactly what I do. So this one's going to be a little bit longer. Um, not much because I will fast forward as I'm doing it, but I'm going to explain each step. So for those of you who have not watched any of my videos and this is the first one, you'll see what I do from start to finish. Um, over the past few weeks, I've been getting a lot of new products and trying out a lot of new things. And there's a few different things that I've, you know, changed since the beginning. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, um, make sure you have clean hands. Uh, make sure you have a clean face, of course. Um, I do have just a little bit of mascara on from earlier, nothing too crazy, it's just um, I wiped off the rest of my makeup and I just have my mascara from earlier um, and I feel like wiping all that off. Um, I'm going to get all of my stuff ready and then I'm going to come right back and we're going to get started. I'm really excited for this, thank you Lauren for asking me for this. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to prime. Now, I use three different primers. I know that may seem a little bit excessive, but because I have a lot of red spots, um, I like to use, um, well, two of them are for that, and then the other one is going to make my face stay a matte look. Um, the first one that I use is the Maybelline Master Prime, the green one. There's a green, pink, and I think a translucent. You're going to take just a little tiny bit. And a little bit goes a long way, so you're going to use that all around your face. This just helps uh, keep your foundation and everything sticking. And everything looking nice. And perfection. I know it may look like I'm rubbing my face really hard because my face is red, but um, make sure that when you put any product on your face with your hands that you are not rubbing really hard because it will cause you to get wrinkles. I'm not just saying that. As I've said in previous videos, I did go to cosmetology school, so I actually learned how to do all of this stuff, so just want to let you guys know that. Um, next, I'm going to go to my... L'Oreal Magic Anti-Redness Correcting Primer in green. I also believe that they have other colors 
for this too. Um, and this one really goes a long way. So like this is going to probably be enough for every spot. And I'm going to cover every red spot. Which I have a lot of. You know, you don't realize until you start doing these makeup tutorials how much, um, like, you break out from them. I don't know if it's stress. I've been under a lot of stress lately, so that might be why. But it's been more than normal. I don't have the best skin normally, but this has been a little bit too much. Um... Once we get to the foundation part, I'm going to tell you guys why I switched foundations as well. Because I was using the Maybelline um, Dream Velvet and I loved it. And then I realized that it was a hydrating foundation and for me, I cannot do hydrating because my face is very hydrated enough and especially living in Florida it's just anything hydrating not good so all the red spots are covered with that then I'm gonna go in with the Milani prime shield primer this one keeps your face looking matte. Um, I found it the other day. And also, it fills in your pores. Um, but it doesn't make your face oily or anything like that. I, this is probably my favorite makeup product right now. It is amazing. My face has been looking matte all day. It's so silky, so soft. And it works so well, especially... Like, sometimes I notice that my pores, a little tiny bit on my nose, will look big. And this has just been working amazing. Like, it just slides on like silk. Seriously. I don't know if any of you have ever used that bio silk stuff before on your hair. You know, when you were younger. That was like the thing. Well, I guess, you know, back when I was younger. Um, but that's literally what it feels like putting it on your face. It's so soft. Like, I, it's like, oh, I love it. Um, okay. So, after that, give it a couple seconds to dry. Make sure that you have your damp beauty blender ready. Um, while that is kind of drying, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Uh, Cover Everything Concealer, which you're not going to really be able to see it because the, it's like silver, so you won't be able to see it that much. Um, and I'm going to just cover my, you know, imperfections, my red little acne spots. The green takes away the redness and this is just, uh, actually just covering them. Yes, I have a pimple on my neck. Uh, Now that I have that on, um, I don't really rub that in. I just kind of leave it there 
I have another little spot right here I'm gonna cover. This is another one of my favorites. It's from e.l.f. and I think it was like $2 and I was so impressed with it. Um, I don't use it completely for my highlighting, but I love it. Okay, so now I have been using the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse and really quick, I think that that green, um, not the primer, but the other primer that I used, where did I put it? This is actually L'Oreal. I think I might have said Maybelline. It's, it's from L'Oreal. Um, I've been using the Dream Matte Mousse. And the reason I've been using that is because, like I said, the other one was just too... Um, oily for me and this has been working much better so um, basically I have nude for my regular to do around my entire face and then I got a darker color light beige that I do for my contour um, just so you kind of get you know a little idea of what I do and then I have the L'Oreal infallible the L'Oreal infallible Pro Matte Face Powder that I'm going to put on before I do my contouring and highlighting. Um, but first, to even out my skin and just kind of get my skin ready, I go to my Ava Face BB Cream in Bisque. This part's going to end up being sped up, so I'm just going to kind of do it and you guys will watch. Okay, now I'm going to go to the Dream Matte Mousse and I'm going to go to the light, um, the nude light number four. That's my color. Um, you know, everybody's a different color. That's the color that I'm going to use. And I'm going to take my foundation brush, which I believe is... bare essentials I can't remember I can't it's rubbed off so this is what it looks like on the inside and I'm gonna just put it all around I'm gonna speed this part up okay um, everyone else the reason that I'm talking saying I'm gonna speed this up and stuff is because this is, you know, a request from a good friend of mine. So, you know, I just want her to, you know, get what I'm doing. I hope she, you know, understands it and everything, which obviously I'm sure she will. to the foundation brush right now I have nothing at all on my lips except for chapstick by the way um, my lips just kind of naturally have their own little color I was putting foundation on them but before but um, I got out of the habit of doing that because honestly I just kind of got lazy And then just take the excess, whatever's left on the brush, and just kind of like rub it into your face just real quick. And then just, you know, real fast, just rub that all in. And then, um, this is the first time I'm going to do it this way. I normally, 
um, kind of as a setting powder, use this powder, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. I'm just going to take just a, broad, a regular powder brush. I use this angled brush. You can really use any powder brush. Let me zoom in a little for you guys. And I'm putting this on before I highlight and contour. I like the really, really matte look, so that's why I'm doing this. Oh, I thought it said we were at 30 minutes. I was like, oh my gosh, already? I need to hurry up. By the way, who is excited about taxes? Seriously, I'm so excited. I get to get my new camera. Not that there's anything wrong with the camera I have. I have a, um, if anybody was wondering, I have a Sony A5100, which is an amazing camera. I absolutely love it. It's so lightweight and small, and it's 24.3 megapixels, which is really good. Um, the only thing I'll say is it's not really meant for video, so I kind of have a little trouble sometimes with it getting too hot. Um, and that's probably also because I can't find my tripod. But I just want you guys to know that I absolutely love my camera. But I'm very excited to get the Sony um, A7 II. Hopefully, A7 II. There's two of them. There's the A7 and the A7 II. And I'm hoping to get that one, but it's a little bit more expensive, so I'm not sure yet. So now that I have that done, I'm going to pause it just one second. I will be right back, and we're going to start highlighting, contouring, and eyebrows. All right. So real quick, let's do our eyebrows before we do... Uh, now look, we'll do some highlighting and contouring first, actually. Okay, so um, the first one I'm going to use is really quick. I'm just going to use a little bit of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And the color that I use is 120 Creamy Ivory. Um, normally I do this one after, but I'm actually going to use it first today. And we're going to go under... Because this one's not really as light. I just kind of use it after. Make kind of a triangle shape. If you can see, I'm going down, up, triangle. Now, if you have a longer, like a little bit of a longer face like me, I would say to kind of do an oval shape, you know? If you have more of a kind of square face or um, you know not as long I would do it a little bit more this way instead of up and down for the highlighting um, that's just what I personally would do you're gonna take your damp beauty blender you don't want it to be soaked damp um, and just rub that in real quick kind of pat it don't really rub um, because when you rub, it's going to tug at your skin, and again, we don't want to get wrinkles. A little bit, you know, a little tiny bit here and there is okay, but we don't really want to be like... Up here is okay because you're not really pulling on your skin because usually the skin on your forehead is pretty tight. And then, um, that's not what I always use for, I, I, well I do always use that, but that's not what I use for my highlight. Um, I just use a little bit of that just to kind of help it really stick. I'm going to now go to my other matte mousse, and this is in the color light beige medium, uh, the number zero. And I'm just going to take another foundation brush that's a little smaller. You zoom in a little bit. I don't know why but it keeps zooming up. All right. Now for this one, go 
go with your cheekbones. And I would say kind of stop like, you know, like maybe at an angle with your nose. I guess that would be the best way to explain it. You don't really want to go all the way to like your lips. Um, because, you know, once you start rubbing it in and all of that, it's going to end up pulling a little bit more anyways. And you just really don't want it that far down. I got a really good compliment on my nose today, uh, which I was actually very excited about because all of you that have been watching my videos and know me personally, I broke my nose. By the way, for your nose, you're going to just want to do like a line on each side like this. If you do this though, you don't want it like, if you can see how this is like really dark and it's light, you don't want this right here to be super, super dark. But you do want up here to be a little, you know, a little bit darker. Then we're going to do a little down here. I'm just patting this on first because sometimes it goes on too thick. We're going to use a brush to actually like rub this in. So not, not like this foundation brush, like a brush like we did with the powder. Now, this is the angled brush that people normally use. I just use this foundation brush to put it on. And you're just going to kind of want to rub. I do it in circles, kind of up. Um, I don't go like this because it will rub off your foundation. I mean, I do a tiny bit just so that the bottom is a pretty straight line, you know, like it's not all over the place. For this part, also, you want to kind of rub up, not really too much down on your forehead. I mean, as you can see, it's going to be, you know, down on your forehead, but you don't want to, like, take it and just go down like this because that's where your highlight is going to be. Lauren, this one is just for you. It's pretty long, so I hope you watched the whole thing. Um... For you, I would definitely say to get, you know, shades in your color, obviously. And then the nose. Actually, well, my nose, I use my beauty blender once I do my highlight. Okay, so I use the L'Oreal True Match. And the color I use is Fair Light, which I believe is the lightest one, um, I think, not 100% sure. This is where you're really going to be able to see the little triangle shape I was talking about. You're going to go down, and if you can see, I'm just kind of like outlining where that darker part is. As a base, I think I'm going to go with this kind of grayish color there. And this, you're going to go all in your crease. If you are someone who, when you open your eyes, like, see, when I open my eyes, you can pretty much still see all my eyelids. If you're somebody who, when you open your eyes, it's, like, kind of like that where you can't see, do not put it above your crease, okay? Um, you, I mean, you don't want to go crazy putting it above your crease because what's going to happen is it's going to look like you just have, like, 
eyeshadow all the way up to your eyebrows. Um, now, if you have bigger eyes, like how mine are, it's okay to do that because you have all this room still left over, which I will have. So nice to be able to take a break when I'm editing photos and just do this real quick. And while I'm editing the photos, this can be uploading to YouTube for you guys. And just do soft, you know, kind of... I don't want to say strokes. <laughs> soft strokes, because it just sounds... You know... Um, <laughs> Just do little soft brushes there. I kind of do a circular motion. <laughs> and now normally I would do like a brown color, but since we're doing smoky, I'm gonna use this color. And actually this is the first time I've used this color. I really like it. It's really pretty. This is in the L'Oreal Nudes palette. I, I've only seen them with one palette. But the Maybelline has two. They have a blush. Actually, they have three. They have a rock nudes, blush nudes, and just a regular nudes, I believe. So once you kind of have that all around, I forgot to actually put, real quick, I'm just going to add a little bit of that color that I put, would normally put the Milani, um, the white one. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of that. It's broken, so I'd be very careful. Just, you know, down here because I would normally do that. I'm going to put a little tiny bit up here too. I would normally do that, and I didn't. And that'll just blend in with this. So don't really worry about, you know, don't go crazy and make it super, super white or anything like that. But you can just add it real quick. You want that light color down here, especially for a smoky eye. Oh, piece just broke off. I dropped it and it broke. That's like the worst thing, dropping your makeup and it breaks. It's like, ugh, why? why? All right, now these are the three colors i might add a little gold in there because you know me and my obsession with gold right now um we have milani bella charcoal number 11 bella emerald number uh, 18 and bella teal number 21. um i don't know if i'm going to use the emerald but i'm definitely going to use the teal and the charcoal I might add a little black too, but the charcoal is actually a pretty good, uh, it's pretty good right now. Um, so for the charcoal, I'm going to take a small creasing brush for the outer corners. And these are very pigmented, so if you do get these, you don't have to use the same exact products. But if you do use this, um, just make sure you kind of like blow it off a little so it doesn't drop on your face. That's kind of what the airspun will help with as well. And we're going to go here and we're going to start lightly. Now, it's always better to have to apply more than to start with more and try to take that off. Trust me. That's kind of a trial and error thing that you do when you are doing makeup. This is going to go inside your crease. I'm only going to talk for one eye, and then the other eye I'm going to fast forward. So in your crease, and you can do some down here too as well. Alright, my camera got too hot again. Ugh, so annoying. So... We're going to go back to the charcoal. We're going to continue what we were doing. 
going into the sides here and into our crease a little bit. And then I'm going to go to my Naked palette. And this is my favorite black. Be very careful though because it's so pigmented. It's usually like a little dot, just a little dot. And look at how dark it is, just that little bit. That you're gonna keep kind of down here, just in the corner, because we're gonna do some eyeliner. Then we're gonna go back to our big blending brush. And blend that all in together. And we're going to go to I'm excited to use this color. I haven't used it yet, so let's see. I think it'll be a really good color with this smoky eye though for somebody with blue eyes. Look at how pretty that looks. I love it already. We're definitely going to need to add just a little more charcoal though so that it doesn't look too blue because she actually asked for more of a smoky eye, so I wanna make sure that she, I'm giving her that smoky eye. So now I'm gonna go back to the charcoal, and I'm just gonna go a little bit more here. Make sure you guys can see me. Just so it's a little bit darker. You always wanna keep it a little bit lighter on the, in you don't have to, but I like to keep it a little lighter on the inside here. And also just kind of blend some of that black in as well. Look at how pretty that looks. I love it. I'm so in love right now. Like seriously. I haven't used this blue yet. This is the first time that I've used it, so I'm really surprised at how blue it is as opposed to teal. I thought it was going to be very teal. Real quick, I'm just going to wipe off the air spun because it's been on long enough. You can just take any kind of brush and just wipe that off real quick. I'm really loving this um, right now. So we're just going to go back to the charcoal, just do a little bit more. Remember, it's better to start out with less and add more if you need to. Alright, so now we're going to do the other eye. Um, I'm not going to talk during this eye because we're going to go fast. I'm going to fast forward it, okay? We're going to do the same thing, charcoal, black, and then blue.
only thing I don't love about gel liners is having to use this little paintbrush. I like the pen liners a little bit better because it's just a lot easier to put on. That's just a personal preference though, but the Maybelline seems to go on pretty smooth and easy. And I think that this is actually an e.l.f. brush. I, this isn't the brush that came with it. That brush fell in my purse somewhere, and when you're a mom trying to find something in your purse, not happening. It drives me crazy when one side of my eyeliner comes out way better than the other. Now this side does not look as good. Yes, this is going to mess up my eyeshadow just a little, but I will fix it. We'll get back to that. Let me just try to get this eyeliner even with the other one. better. That was just to make it a little thinner. It was a little bit too thick right there. 
And to fix that, all you gotta do is just go back to your eyeshadow. Do a little bit, try not to get it on your eyeliner. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I figured out that's a little bit better. Clean up under here a little bit with a Q-tip, just a little. This one was already pretty much done because I wiped that eyeliner off. Now, we're going to take this, take just a little bit of it. Put it there, and we're going to rub it in with our Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to do just a tiny, tiny bit underneath. I know that we've already baked under here, but I'm just doing this just in case any uh, product has fallen because it's a dark color. If this were a lighter color, I wouldn't even worry about this at all. It's just this color was so dark, or this color is so dark. So you're going to get right up to your eyeliner and basically just kind of outline that. And if you can see how much cleaner it looks now compared to that side. I'm just going in and just fixing any little imperfection, like if it's not touching my eyelashes, blah, blah, blah. Now, underneath our eyes. I thought that I had a blue liner, but I think it might be purple, so we're not going to use that. Let me see how purple it looks, because we might be able to get away with it. Hmm. We'll mix that with blue. So this is actually a Fergie um, eye pencil. It's kind of creamy. Um, what I like to do is put it under my waterline, and then I'm going to buff it out a little bit with the teal. So, try not to flip you guys off. And then, of course, for our waterline, we're going to use black. We could use white. I need a name for this look. I was just looking like there was too much of like a white line right there and I didn't like that. Um, so I'm going to take the, I have a little brush that just is like this. It says precision concealer, which is what I could have used for right there, but I'm actually going to use this to mix with that purple. 
And I'm going to do a little bit of the charcoal as well. This just is going to add a little bit of color, just make it look really pretty. I'm like in love with this teal color so much. So like the other day I went to Walmart and you know, as you guys know, I try to show you how to do makeup on a budget. Um, there are some things that I do buy that are a little bit more expensive. Um, you know, like the foundations and stuff really aren't that cheap, but they're definitely cheaper than, you know, some of the other ones. All of these Milani eyeshadows were on sale for $2. I was so excited. I, it felt like it was like, you know, Christmas or something. It was great. This is going to have a little bit of black on it already because I didn't wash it off yet. So for that, I'm just going to go right here and just buff a little bit of black in there. Just a tiny bit. You don't want to do, you know, too much and have it looking like you got punched in the eye. Then we're going to go back to that other brush and just kind of pull it over. If you see what I mean, just kind of pull it so that it's blended. And if you feel like it's too much, you can just kind of, you know, Take a little concealer and put it right there underneath. Like, if you see right there, it's a little tiny bit too much compared to this side. But it's not that big of a difference where I'm really worried about it. Because we're going to be highlighting anyways. So now, here comes the fun part. Um, I have been using... Well, let's do eyelashes first. Um... I already have a little mascara on. Let's do, we're gonna use the Kiss Chick, 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 however you wanna say it. We're gonna use those. Um, normally I would use really big falsies with this, but because this was a request, not everybody likes to wear big falsies. So, we're gonna use these. I love Kiss Lash.
All right, my camera got too hot, so I put one on, but I'm going to show you. It's on, but you can barely even tell because it's almost the same length. This is my regular lash. This is the falsy. It's almost the same length. These I really just use when I want to add some volume. Um, so I did that one off camera. I'm going to do this one on camera. Hopefully my camera doesn't get too hot and shut off again. I'm so sorry when that happens, guys. I know it's probably kind of annoying like in the middle of talking and it just shuts off. I know I can edit that out, but it's still annoying. So, I use a Q-tip. I put the glue on with a Q-tip. I'm running out of glue, so it looks like I'm putting a lot, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to get some glue. I, always, I keep forgetting to buy a new thing of glue every time I go to the store. A lot of people use tweezers to put their falsies on, but I just can't. I'm too scared. I'm seriously terrified to put tweezers next to my eye like that. Another thing for falsies, let's make this very clear too. Um, make sure that your falsies are connected to your regular lashes because if not, you will really, really be able to tell that you have fake eyelashes on. Which if you have big, huge fake lashes, you're going to be able to tell anyways, but like you will really be able to tell and then people are going to like laugh at you probably. They're going to be like, oh, her eyelashes look terrible. So try to get those as close to your eyelashes as possible. Then you're just going to take some regular mascara. Um, I've noticed that a lot of makeup artists that I've seen on YouTube, because I do watch videos, you know, just because I always want to get better. I do notice that a lot of them don't like to put um, mascara over their falsies because they say that it ruins them. Um, honestly, fault. The Kiss Lashes that I buy, they're like $2.99. I usually buy a couple at a time. You know, so if they get ruined, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I think that it looks better when you do have mascara on your falsies just because it makes it a little bit, you know, makes it look thicker. And this is what I'm talking about with the glue. Half of my eyelashes falling off because I'm running out of glue. I don't even know where my glue is now. In the past few videos, I've had to do this a couple times and it's really annoying me. So I'm so sorry about this guys, I promise I will get some glue this week. Glue is not easy to get off, by the way, so try your hardest not to get glue on your eyeshadow. It's very hard to get off. Once it dries, anyways. I think they're on. I can't tell. We are good.
Oh, and that is the um, Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme. Then I use the Revlon Dramatic Definition as well. I'm running out of that one. I normally don't put this one on top. I use it for the bottom because the brush is smaller, but I'm going to use it on the top today because I'm running out of the other one. And if you guys wonder why I go from the top, it just adds a little bit more mascara to it. So I know I have a little a couple weird things that I do. And then bottom lashes. Be very careful with this part. It's going to like make or break your entire makeup face, I guess you could say. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to be finishing my photo album. I think I'm going to go with white on my under on my waterline. I don't know why. But I have this feeling that ow. That white will look really good. So we're going to do white instead of black. If I can even find it. Oh! By the way, brow gel. Don't forget your brow gel. You want those brows to stay in place? Throw a little brow gel. This is the e.l.f. brand. Two bucks, I think. Something like that. My eyebrow's not cooperating with me today. It never does. And it's just, you know... I wish I could just have like, you know, like those girls that have perfect eyebrows. I wish I could just trade them for just one day. One day of perfect eyebrows. Alright, so this is also another... Okay, so my camera's gonna die soon. Um, really quick, I did the Fergie white liner on my waterline underneath there. And then I did a little line lining my black liner right there because I just thought it would look really cool. Um, I don't know why I just like feel like doing these new things today. Um, I'm just gonna fix that little spot right there. And for lips, I don't have a blue lipstick, so we're not going to do blue. Um, but before we do that, we are going to finish our highlighting and contouring before my camera dies, because that's a very big thing that we need to do. Uh, we're going to use the Maybelline Master Contour Kit. Um, obviously, first we're going to go to the contour. And just go over your contour that you did earlier.
and go to your blush. I normally use the other brush that I was just using for blush, but I have it's been it hasn't been working out on the palette as that great. It's been making the blush brown because I've been using the same brush. So I'm going to use this one today. I'm loving the way that white liner looks next to my wing. I don't know why, but I think it looks really cool. This was a totally different look than what I expected I was going to do, but that's okay. That's kind of what happens every time I do my makeup. Go back to the contour, the darker color, and just make sure that it's really kind of dramatic. Now you can kind of mix it together. Then you're going to want to do under here like you did before also that's very important and last I'm just going to use this fluffy brush for the highlight just going to take that I'm going to go all the way here up to the blush and highlight You want to do your nose right here, tip your nose. The highlighting on this is not my favorite, but it does get the job done. I really do like the Milani Bella Diamond a little bit better, um, but this does work well. It's just not my personal favorite. But for like a highlighting kit, I think it's great. The main spot that you really want to make sure that you do is under your eyes, for sure. And here. And there. I mean, I've used this a lot of times, and you can actually like still see the words and stuff, so it goes a long way. I think it's like $12 or something like that. Just doing a tiny bit more contour only because of the highlight. And then I do do a tiny bit of highlight inside there. Just a little dab. Then I'm going to take just any little brush and I'm going to do the dark contour and just go down my nose one last time. Tomorrow I am hoping to do a Snapchat Q&A, so everybody add me on Snapchat. I will make sure that I add the link to this video. I'm just adding a little highlight there to just soften up. Alright, now lips. I'm going to turn this off for a second so it doesn't die. Turn it back on and do our lips, okay? So we're going to use two Wet n Wild colors. The first one is going to be the K2 
Cashmere 533D, one of my favorites. And then the second one is going to be 535D Black Orchid. They're very similar in color. Um, I'm going to do one or the other. And I'm going to do a red lip liner. Please excuse the noises of everything falling. I feel like this is just going to make my lips pop. Excuse my stomach growling. Really hungry. Alright, we're going to go with the darker color first, which is the cashmere. It's like a brown but purple kind of color. Like a, I don't even know how to explain it. Metallic maybe? I almost kind of like it without the red. Let's see what it looks like with the red and if we don't like it then we'll just Put some more of that on. And then this is the black orchid. And I'm just putting this in the middle. Kind of like the ombre thing. You see how it's darker and I'm gonna wipe off the sides obviously I'm not gonna leave that like that 